since 2008, but then again, he departed the scene after 21 Emmys and after changing television news forever. We learned this past weekend Mike Wallace had died in a long-term care facility in Connecticut. He was 93 years old. Two world wars were fought in his lifetime, and in the wars between the networks and fellow journalists, today former competitors were lining up to talk about one of the toughest of them all. I'm Mike Wallace. He was not the always the Mike Wallace we remember. He was an entertainer. He did now commercials course, for Revlon and for Golden Fluffo Shortening. Hi, I'm Mike Wallace with a sensational shortening discovery for better baking and frying. He was the announcer for the Green Hornet. He hunts the biggest of all game. He performed on Broadway and was a soap opera actor and then went into television mean, news. The show is Night Beat. And without him, there probably would not have been a broadcast called 60 Minutes. And there would have been a lot less tension on television. But if you want to develop a style for yourself and carve out a bit of the territory, then you purposefully say, all right, I'm going to ask an abrasive question, a searching question, do a lot of research, be a little tougher. His timing was perfect. He slid into the golden era of television, so mostly unseen. known for his interviews. They were often tense and contentious, and they were iconic enough that his very name became a generic term for an unwelcomed inquisition. Mike began life as a performer, as an actor, uh, but he made a very successful conversion to journalism. However, he never forgot that he owed the audience something whenever he appeared. If you made an investment in a Mike Wallace interview, it always paid off. He interviewed presidents and Mike Salvador Dali, Jack Kevorkian, Frank Lloyd Wright, Malcolm X, Johnny Carson, Barbara Streisand, and a ton of shady characters. And he used a kind of detective technique throughout. He was a really good writer and a great storyteller. And he sort of reeled you in to the story. You wanted to know more about the character. His name at birth was Myron. Back in 1918 in Brookline, Mass., his parents came here from Russia. He went to college at Michigan. He served in the Navy during World War II, then into radio and eventually TV. He bravely and openly fought depression for years after a nervous breakdown and a suicide attempt brought on by a damaging lawsuit brought by retired General William Westmoreland. About himself, Wallace left us with two quotes. He said he walked a fine line between sadism and intellectual curiosity. He also asked us to remember him as tough but fair. Mike Wallace, gone tonight at the age of 93. That is our broadcast on a Monday night. Thank you for being here with us as we start off a new week. I'm Brian Williams. We, of course, hope to see you right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.